Hello everybody and welcome to some breaking news because Oxford United's search for a new manager is over. Yes, 38 year old. Oh Christ, I'm old. Oxford born Des Buckingham takes over after he who shall not be named jump to Bristol City. So whilst you have that romance of Des Buckingham being a Cowley boy coming back to manage his hometown club, I think it's important to stress that in my opinion, he's also the best choice. All managers come with a degree of risk and uh, without a doubt the biggest risk of employing Des Buckingham is that he's never managed at this level. And whilst that is true, I think it's important that you look at Des Buckingham's CV and the journey that he's been on as a coach and as a manager. And I think it's pretty clear to see that this is a guy that is not scared of new challenges and in fact thrives in those challenges and leaves behind a legacy of success. It's hard to imagine that he has been coaching for 20 years, but it was Chris Wilder who gave him opportunities in coaching at Oxford United as a very young man. And it was Mickey Lewis as well that took him under his wing. So you've got a lot of romance with this appointment. I have something in my eye. But if you look at his career in management, not only can you see a lot of success, but you can also see how he leaves clubs in better positions than how he finds them. Wellington Phoenix, in his first role as an interim manager, they were rock bottom in the A-League and he took them to the cusp of the playoffs. New Zealand under 20s at a World Cup. They went in there just happy to be there, happy to just play three games and go home. But Des Buckingham took them to the knockout phases. They were unlucky to go out in those knockout phases. And he left New Zealand youth football with a clear identity and a style of play that meant they could compete against the best teams in the world. Back in the A-League then with Melbourne City. Well, this one's a clear one, isn't it? Won the league, won the cup, did the double with them. And finally, in his latest role before joining Oxford United with Mumbai, he took over a team that was pretty much in transition and needed to be rebuilt. And my goodness, did he rebuild them. Not great in his first year, but in his second season, he dominated the Indian Super League and won the league comfortably with Mumbai. So Des Buckingham finds himself now at Oxford, as we said, at his home town club and it is a team that is having an excellent season so far and we do have high hopes of getting promotion sitting in second place after 16 games of the season and look I know it's fun and it's become fun to really criticise Manning and give him a hard time but I think it's important to just reiterate the great job that he did in the short period of time that he was here and the significant improvements that he made to this Oxford United side and that gives Buckingham a tremendous platform to come in and hopefully improve on things and bring success. There is also the City Football Group link between Manning and Buckingham which must have been another enticing thing for the Oxford United board and this gives Buckingham an excellent opportunity to come in and hit the ground running with this Oxford United side and pick up the bat on from what Manning left behind. They have similar philosophies on playing style and on the coaching and development of young players and of the current senior players in there as well. This does give you a plug in and play feel to this appointment but I think it's important to say that whilst there are going to be similarities between Buckingham and Manning they are not the same. Manning was very much probably an oversimplification but a bit of a control freak at times and also really liked as we know to take the emotions out of a situation it's quite hard to imagine that Des Buckingham will come in and be quite so dispassionate as the way Liam Manning was but hopefully what we get to see and what I think Oxford fans will enjoy is the attacking philosophy of football which was there under Liam Manning and will carry on under Des Buckingham. His side seems to be pretty consistent at both ends of the pitch, scoring a lot of goals, keeping a lot of clean sheets, and it is an emphasis of controlling games through possession. Also, let's give the board a lot of credit for the speedy appointment of Des Buckingham. There was a lot of turmoil going around after Manning left, and we've got Des Buckingham in charge with plenty of time ahead of the first game against Cheltenham. But also the board, when they hired Manning, were accused um, unfairly, in my opinion, opinion of making the cheap choice but this certainly can't be labelled at them this time around. Buckingham is a highly prized young coach and there were rumours going around that we've had to pay, we, Oxford United have had to pay 800 grand of compensation to Mumbai which is an incredible amount 
And when, if it is true, it only shows you the faith that they have in Des Buckingham and also how on board they are with getting this club promoted. But as we know, as it always says in football and all walks of life, only time will tell. Proof in the pudding is in the eating, as some people say. Not me, until I just said it just now. But it will be fascinating to see how this changes the dynamics at the club. What formations will Des Buckingham employ and what tactics will he use throughout the games? Um, and which of the players who have not been involved recently come in from the cold and make a difference. And we have about a week to find out to a no game this weekend because of the international break it would have been. What a game that would have been to come into Portsmouth at home. But he starts with Cheltenham away, a side struggling down the bottom of League One. So that will certainly give its challenges of playing against a side scrapping for points. But then three days after that, if you thought that was a relatively comfortable start, three days after that, we've got Bolton Wanderers aside just behind us in the table, only on goal difference and a side that is flying in terms of their recent form. So for that game alone, it is a bit of a baptism of fire. And on a personal note from me, look, I don't know Des Buckingham, but um, I did used to work with his sister and I did used to work with one of Des Buckingham's good friends who actually went out and helped him coach when he was in New Zealand. I feel I know quite a bit about him without ever having meeting him. And um, also that does make me a little bit biased. Um, but apart from the personal ties, I have always heard very good things about him even going back from when he was managing wellington i've been aware of like how he was doing obviously through family connections and all that and um, the one thing that always struck me of what i've heard and people talking about him was the hard work the dedication and the attention to detail that he puts into his coaching and his management and his love for it and it's brought him so much success so far and hopefully that is going to continue. But for me, Oxford United fans, the main thing is that not only is this an exciting choice, but I think it is a logical choice. Even at a young age of 38, Des Buckingham has a ton of coaching experience. And the most important thing, as I said at the start of the video, is he leaves a legacy of success. And hopefully he brings that legacy of success to Oxford United and we can have some fantastic times under a home grown manager but that's just my two p's worth on the subject guys uh, let me know your thoughts on this let me know if you're excited by it let me know your fears by it let me know what your thoughts are on the compensation package and everything like that and just let me know what you think this is going to mean for the remainder of our season if there's any mumbai fans out there i can't imagine that there will be very interested to know your thoughts on what you thought of Buckingham as a coach and what you think that now he has gone. Whether you'll be, if you ever play against um, Oxford, uh, whether you'll come over and you'll be waving in inflatable snakes in the away end at the Kassam. That's all from me, folks. Um, exciting times for Oxford United. And uh, thanks for watching. If you can hit like, that helps me out a lot. And if you like the content, subscribe to the channel. I'll be back next week to do a review of the Cheltenham game. Thanks very much. Bye for now.